When Deshni Gavinda was busy writing her matric, she tragically lost her father to a heart attack. Despite this devastating loss, she passed with excellent results, which showed her inner strength and potential. You may not know Deshni Gavinda, but if you follow the music scene, you probably will have heard of DJ Roxy, and you're about to meet her. Being the first doesn't usually mean being the best, and it takes someone special to combine the two. DJ Roxy isn't only the first Indian female club DJ in the country, she's also received numerous accolades singing her praises. It must be one of the oldest plot lines in history. A young go-getter goes to the big city to seek fame and fortune. But the question is, why does it work for some people but not for others? Is it a case of just arriving or do you have to pack a lot of talent? This is one of the questions I want to ask DJ Roxy as we meet her at one of her favourite venues in Joburg. It's not the kind of place for a quiet chat, but Roxy isn't a quiet kind of girl. Yay, DJ Roxy! Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where were you born, family, school? Well, originally from Durban and I'm here in Johannesburg. And we're actually one of my favorite spots. I just love to chill and to unwind. So yeah, I'm a DJ, I'm a blogger, and I'm a social media manager by day. And I'm obsessed with music. When did you decide to become a performer and what inspired you? I don't think you decide. You know, you're born that way. It's like Lady Gaga, you know? <laughs> That's so cheesy. But yeah, I've been doing it since 2007 and I haven't looked back since. When and why did you decide to move to the big bad Johannesburg? Oh, you want to know a secret? I didn't want to move. But I think for my professional career, you know, everything happens here. I'll always remain true to my roots, but Joburg is where the vibe is at. Why is Neighbourhoods one of your favourite places to relax and chill? Look at what we're drinking. I mean, seriously. And even the food. It is amazing. The fashion, the culture. For me, it's literally like a cosmopolitan vibe. That's great. But what I really want to do is I want to see you in action. While she feeds off the energy of the market, she's also at home in the solitude of her studio. There, Zaki got to listen to her chart-topping debut single. This beat drives, drives me wild. wild. <laughs> Wait, this part's amazing. Okay. I'm here. I just want to go dancing. Right? So what did you think of that? That is amazing. We've launched it in December and it is doing so, so well. Tell me about how you had your first break as a DJ. Let's go back to 2007. I mean, literally, I submitted a mix to Lotus FM, CJ Benjamin's show. And yeah, I was asked to come back and carry on my mixes. And from there, I literally went from there to everywhere. Tell me about some of the big gigs you've played. Oh my gosh, like most of the 5 FM gigs, New Year's Eve, even Ibiza. Oh, wait, I just, <laughs> I just want to get something straight. Wait. You get paid to party. To be able to support yourself on something that you love, you know, that is a feeling like no other. So yeah, I'm just really, really blessed and fortunate, but it's a lot of hard work. This literally is all my years put into one song. I'm so passionate about it. So tell me more about your new single. So it's called Music Under Alma. It features Reza Solange, who used to be on Channel O. She's from Angola. And it features Lection, who is like one of the hottest rappers right now. Call it house pop because it's hip hop and together. Uh -huh. Right? Because I know you, you're a hip hop girl, right? <laughs> Damn, exactly. Me. What inspires you and gets your blood boiling about being a DJ? It's anything and everything. You know, earlier we were just at Neighborhoods. You heard that music, it was like jazz, the people were eclectic. So for me now, even if I'm going for a gig, if I'm on my way, something's inspiring me, I literally have the ability to change my playlist on the way. Wait, but where are your, your turntables with the wiki 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 wiki? And you're looking at it right here. You do everything from there. That's it. Exactly. Huh? Or even just two USBs. You pick up at the club, plug them in, a thousand songs, a thousand songs. No more. Well, you can have yeah, wiki wiki, but at the <laughs> end of the day, it's about the people. It's not about you and your scratch skills. So what advice do you have for aspiring young DJs? Do not limit yourself. You literally can pick it up anywhere. At the end of your day job, in the mornings, after gym. Don't put blocks in your life. If you want to do it, just go for it. I'm dying to have a listen to your show. Cool. Well, what is it? What's your favorite song? Oh, I've got so many. Okay, cool. Think of one and yeah. then I'll queue it up for you. Let's go for it. Cool. All right, so this is Roxy Official right here on Lucky Radio. I'm going to keep you company for the next three hours. And I actually have a very special guest in studio. <laughs> so this is a brand new one by DJ Keys. I hope you guys enjoy. Do you think luck finds you or do you make your own luck? 
you know what's my favorite saying? What? Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. You prepare, when you find the opportunity, you create your own lucky break. What in your opinion makes an amazing DJ? Someone who has patience, because remember it's all about listening to the crowd, you know? Don't just go in there and do your own thing. Even with your career, plan it out. So patience is key and a good ear. This is a question I love asking. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Probably having my own music show on TV, as well as doing radio, and maybe even a music magazine, you know? Definitely like an empire all about music. You yeah. want it all. You know, Ooh, Beyonce, power. watch out. Who's Beyonce? Beyonce who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you balance DJing and a day job? You know what? I found the gym. That's what I found. You know, it was it was a case where it was five energy drinks before midday just to get me through to work and my DJing and my show, so it was really difficult. So got a trainer and literally from like November, I've just been in the gym all day, every day. And I feel better, you know, it's, I feel at peace with myself. Okay, you clog up my Twitter newsfeed. How are you always on Twitter and your day job and your DJ? Well, I'm also on Instagram and Facebook as well. And I feel like if your fan doesn't go to the club to hear you, they need to know who you are as a person. So I'm always like a morning quote on my Facebook page, Instagram, I mean neighborhoods, right? Do you know how many people saw our whole thing, you know? Liking what we're doing, our coconut juice, and now they know I'm online so they can tune in. Social media is so important. DJ Roxy! Wiki Wiki! Oh no! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing with me and playing for me. Oh, I'm glad you loved it. Nothing you but know? the best, and I'm so excited to hear your single all over the radio. Cool, this is only a pleasure. And don't forget this DJ lesson, say, we're gonna get you pop up. <laughs> Earlier on, I posed the question whether you find success by going somewhere or whether success finds you. Well, I think DJ Roxy has the right idea by making the most of all her opportunities because DJ Roxy is rocking.